two. What's up, America? You know what time it is. It's a little after 12 o'clock. It is time for Thanks Grilling. Brought to you by Rec Tech, powered by Kingsford. My man, the barbecue dad, has an exciting show planned for you today. So let's get it started with Jody Flanagan. Hey, America. Hope you had a great weekend. I know we had an amazing here at the RecTech Worldwide Headquarters in the heart of Evans, Georgia. We had a RecTech Academy class of 2020 joining us uh, this weekend. Shout out to the boys uh, with Dan Burt Construction Company out yeah. of Ohio. We love you guys. Uh, it was great to meet. Had a great time with you guys. Each and every one of y'all get to know and bond over uh, burning uh, some wood, burning mm -hmm. some coals, mm -hmm. making some good, delicious food. But shout out to everybody watching. Make sure you smash that share button. Give us a like. Give us a love. I'm Jody Flanagan, Barbecue Dad. You can follow me on all social media at BBQ Dad Jody, J O D Y. Make sure you give me a follow, a like, a love. That's right. Uh, make sure you follow Kingsford and Rec Tech on YouTube because we've got a lot of amazing content coming out for you this holiday season. Thanks, grilling season. That's right. That is. Buddy. Shout out to John Pinnell. He's on the ones and twos. He was the, the hazel colored fellow that you saw earlier and uh mocha. he is mocha. hand mocha mocha color. mocha hazily is it mocha hazily it's, he's just got the be most beautiful skin <laughs> i've ever seen it's just beautiful hue beautiful hue of brown uh but thank you guys so much for tuning in we are going to be doing a smoked pound cake today Ooh, it's going to yeah. be an amazing dessert to add to any of your thanks grilling celebration parties and or meals. Um, uh, John, any yes. is there a lot of folks out there? Yeah, we got a hundred, uh, 200 people out here right Man. now tuned in watching you. Now, we did come on a little late today. We did. Sorry, guys. Make sure you put your comments and hatred in the comment section down below. We will make sure to get to it. Uh, all of you YouTube haters, we love reading that hate. So make sure you put it in the comment section so we can reply back to it and get you all riled up on a Monday. Hey, Stu Rutledge says, OH. I -O. I -O. Oh, Stu. What's oh, up, Stu. Stu? How you doing, brother? Uh. But pal cake could be easier. Yeah. How many ingredients we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six ingredients. Right. Seven, if you count the Kingsford classic mm -hmm. pellet that we're burning today. Man, nothing is more delicious. That's right, Ed. I said delicious <laughs> than the Kingsford pellet, my man. Very little ash. Great BTU and heat output, great smoke output, great flavor output out of that. And, of course, partnering with that Rectech grill, that Rectech, the PID controller is going to maintain temperature perfectly. It's not going to deviate or uh, get away from that set temp. Today we're going to be cooking at 350 degrees. Once we get everything assembled and put in our pan, it's going to take about an hour to cook this pound cake. Uh, and the way that we're going to test and make sure that it is completely cooked all the way through, mm -hmm. we're going to take a toothpick, a wooden toothpick. These, right. This will not work with plastic toothpicks. Did you? Yes. That, you know what? I did not know that prior to going to like culinary school i didn't know that a plastic toothpick wouldn't pick up wow. that softness well now the now the folks out there know right. you gotta use a wooden toothpick and you're gonna poke it all the way right past the center if you pull it out and you see some remnants stuck on it then you know it needs to go back into the grill and absorb some more of that delicious kingsford classic smoke but make sure you smash that share button give us a like give us a love we're uh, getting you through your mondays uh it is a great day here man the sun, it's, it's partly cloudy. The yeah. sun's shining. It's beautiful here. It's about 75-ish. Mm -hmm. It'll probably be 80 degrees out Perfect here. Perfect day for golf, Jody. Perfect day for golf. Masters week started this week. Shout out to uh, our friends at the Augusta National. Uh, and shout out to ESPN coming Saturday for College Game Day. Guys, That's just right. come over here and hang out with us Friday. Come on. And we'll show you a good time. Come on. Uh, that's an open invite to any AB, ABC, CBS, or NBC or ESPN, Disney employees. You guys, just come on out. Come on, come out. on out to the RecTech Worldwide Headquarters. Out. We promise you, you'll, you'll have a good time. But a pound cake. Why is it called a pound cake, John? Talk to me, Jody. Why is it called a pound well, cake? Well, because you're going to essentially, the four main ingredients, you're going to use about a pound of. That's exactly right. You got a pound friend. of butter, That's 16 right. ounces of butter. I got two cups of sugar here. I got four whole eggs, and I've got two cups of... Um, all purpose. Flour. Yeah, all purpose, all purpose flour there. Yeah. And uh, again, a pound cake because it's a pound, a pound, a pound, a pound. And then uh, not so much a pound of vanilla and some of that delicious raised 
apple pie rub. Now, Jody, this is a basic pound cake, right? Super you could basic. Do variations guys, of this pound cake. That's, that's right. That's why we're starting at the bakes basics, so you guys can take it up that culinary elevator or culinary ladder, and you guys can knock it out of the park. Add anything that you like, uh, or take away things, or substitute things. But this is a super, super basic pound cake to start with. You got, and it's great. You know, you could put a little bit of uh, strawberry compote on top with a scoop of vanilla ice cream, you know, and some delicious whipped cream. That's what I'm talking about. What about you, John? Yes, I'm a fan of the ice cream, vanilla ice cream. Right. I'm a huge fan of, but I also like when I'm making my pound cake, I love an apple pound cake and I love a apple chocolate pound, pound cake. cake. Oh, Jody. okay. All right. Take it to the next yep, level. Absolutely. With absolutely. Mm -hmm. I'm right there chip. with you. Apples are in season. That is yeah. a very, very good fruit to use for your pound cake. Yeah, delicious. But let's get to pounding it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> yeah. Jody, if they want this recipe or any of the other recipes they see on live shows, what do they need to do? Guys, all you have to do is go to rectech.com forward slash lunch break, fill out all the information, check all those boxes, and we will insert this recipe right into your inbox very aggressively. Uh, sometimes it'll end up in your spam folder. It's so aggressive. So That's make sure right. you check that spam and junk folder uh, because we may be already aggressively inserting stuff into there, and you're only receiving it in that section. Um, but let's start with a mixer. We've got our awesome KitchenAid 8-quart commercial mixer here. This is what John uses uh, a lot of the times yeah. on his late night munchie show. Yeah, shout but, out to you, KitchenAid. But we've got some lukewarm butter. Again, this is 16 ounces, aka one pound of lukewarm butter. Then we're going to go ahead Get her on up here, and we're going to start her. Yeah, oh, yeah. Get it real aggressive in there. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. She's getting real aggressive. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna just going to pour in our flour slowly. Ah! Sugar. I mean, our, I mean sugar, John. I'm, I'm Gosh, sorry, you buddy. are so right. I am so wrong. Just going to slowly pour some of that sugar in there, let it incorporate. Now, we're not going to be afraid. No. We're going to beat that pound cake mm -hmm. into submission. Mm -hmm. So you just let it go. Now, this is going to take... A good couple of minutes. Yeah. So I'm going to make sure I raise my voice for there you, you go. so you can totally understand me while all of this is working itself. Now, right. again, if, if it, a lot of times when you're making biscuits, yes. you want cold butter, mm -hmm. not in the instance of our pound cake. That's okay? right. You want lukewarm butter, and that will help that sugar incorporate uh, as much as possible. That's right. Also, this process in baking is called creaming. You are creaming the butter when you add the sugar to it. So just and we're just cr creaming this pound cake. That's right. It is getting a little bit friskier, and friskier <laughs> and friskier the more we go on, ladies and gentlemen. But we're just it. creaming this butter, creaming this sugar. Ugh. Guys, put your favorite dessert dish in the comment section down below. I'd like to know why, because I'd like to know if I know how to cook all of that stuff. <laughs> so put it in the comment section down below. I need to, uh, to get my bacon on. That's right. But Chef John is a great baker. He does uh, all things sweet on Thursdays for <laughs> late night munchies. Love 11 it. p.m. Eastern Standard, live right here on Facebook. Uh, Jody, Vince Smitka says, uh, Hey, Vince, you all SOB. The grill grates are going on sale today. He just want to let everybody know if you use uh, FESTIVE15, the code FESTIVE15, you get 15% off your order. Oh, shout out to our friend Brad uh, at Grill Great. That's awesome. We actually got one of those uh, half moon designs in, John. Yeah. We need to start putting that puppy through its we paces. Really, we really do. It's about that time. Now, again, this is going to be a little bit of a process. Now, mm -hmm. why is that, John? Because we're tr really trying to incorporate that sugar into that That's butter. Right. That way, each and every piece uh, gets deliciously 100%. buttery That's as right. well as sugary and That's sweet. Right. And there's only a few ingredients in this, so you want to make sure that you incorporate everything really well. Absolutely, absolutely. Right. And I like to midway through, I like to drop it down and kind of scrape the, bowl scrape the old sides. Pro mode. That is a definite pro tip to ensure that everything is well incorporated. Now, if you don't have a hand mixer, of course, ladies and gentlemen, of course you can do this yourself, but <laughs> we only got 15 minutes. So that's why we're going to be using a hand mixer. Right, and, uh, so this uh, KitchenAid one is a great uh, yeah, tool that we have. Awesome you can also check out other mixers on Amazon.com. they got a lot of great mixers as well. RJ, so some of our fans out here are putting their favorite desserts in. Tom Taylor says, flourless chocolate cake. Oh, very cool. Randy Threadgill says, smoked cheesecake. Terry Reese says, smoked banana cheesecake. pudding or peach cobbler. I like both of those at Bobby the same Madison time. Bobby Gale says, German chocolate cake. That's a John favorite. Yeah, My I wife's favorite as well. My mom's favorite. 
Uh, Jeremy Gould says, fried apples with pecan ice cream is my favorite dessert, Jody. Fried apples with pecan ice cream. That sounds good. That sounds good. That sounds like a win right there. All right, get on here, Sherp. Show the folks, ladies and gentlemen, what it looks like. It's nice and creep. Get on in there, Bubba. Okay, we're going to – now, we're not going to go super fast because we're about to add our eggs. So there we're going to go. bump it down. We go, don't want to beat it up too much and scramble them eggs, okay? So we're going to uh, add one egg at a time. And what I like to do, just so I make sure that I don't put any shell – into this, I like to put my egg into a little glass bowl just to make sure. That's a great tip, Jody. Just also, to make sure. too, sometimes if you're going through a lot, if you get a lot of eggs, uh, I found this in the restaurant, when you buy your eggs in like 30 dozens, it's best to go ahead and crack them into something because sometimes those eggs are fertilized. You know? That's right. You, you never know. That. That's, That's right. right. Absolutely. Very good point, John. Yeah. But we're just going to slowly let that incorporate. And again, if you, if you see some stuff ending up on the sides, just go ahead and get in there and scrape it. Again, you want everything to be fully incorporated when you put this bad boy in the grill because mm -hmm. it's going to be so good. Your friends and relatives are going to love this. This is a super easy recipe. Even Jordan Johnson could do this one. He's even, <laughs> like, looking right now, like, hey, I could do this. That's I right. see him. I see him. That's right. You I can do this, Jordan. I promise you. I think my mom's got one of those at the house, Jordan's saying. I think I could do this. Very cool. And then that's, that's what living the right tech lifestyle is all about, you know, expanding your horizons, doing things that you thought that you possibly couldn't do. You know what I'm saying? Um, and it's all about the holidays. Thanksgiving is right around the corner, which means Christmas is literally right behind it, guys. Do not, do not rely on the shipping company to dictate whether or not you have a good Christmas. That's right. Order now, mm -hmm. buy now, and get it shipped. That way you know, that way it's guaranteed to be at your home by Christmas. My wife and That's I, right. we're buying all the baby's toys and all of their gifts right now, this week and next week. That way we can guarantee they get delivered. That's uh, because, again, Amazon let me down with my uh, catboy costume. Mm -hmm. I had a much elaborate, mu much more expensive <laughs> catboy <laughs> costume I purchased. And, uh, unfortunately, Amazon let me down. Yeah, well, you did great. You look great in your catboy costume. Yeah. Shout uh, out to everybody for watching. Jenny, Again, I'm letting so it go away. I need to get uh, another egg in here. We got a couple people uh, or a few people out here talking about their desserts, but uh, Christine Breedlove and Greg Powers both say pineapple upside down cake. Now, doesn't oh, yeah. Ray make a group? Don't we have a good well, recipe for that? Well, Ray's got one. We also have one at Rectech.com, okay. an amazing pineapple upside down cake. That's actually one of the secret recipes right. in one of those Rectech cookbooks Ooh. that we had for sale. And I also heard there may be a volume two coming out sometime soon. There may be an updated that? volume two. I heard of that. I heard some birdie told me that. But guys, make sure you sign up for the newsletter at Rectech.com, R-E-C-T-Q, uh, so you know about all of that cool, awesome, Awesome stuff uh, that's about to roll out and become uh, part of the Rectech.com website. We've got a lot of amazing um, swag coming as yeah. well, uh, but we're close to being done. We are just incorporating our eggs. The next thing we're going to do, once all of our eggs are incorporated, we're going to add our delicious Ray's Front Row Apple Pie Rub. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. It's a dessert rub that uh, is amazing, uh, especially with pound cake or um, waffles, oh, pancakes, yes. any kind of cupcakes, mm. any sweetness. Mm -hmm. I like to put it on top of my ice cream as a topper. That's a very, very good and one. Also, Jody, you could use it to finish your, with your ribs. We've Absolutely, done that a finish of your too. ribs. We got a couple of um, of uh, world class pitmasters that actually use it as like the last rib, That's right. last uh, rub on their rib. But this is looking really good. Sherpa, get on in there. Show the folks what it's supposed to look like. But that looks absolutely amazing. I would, you know, I'd take a spoonful of it and eat it right now. It looks so good, you know what I'm saying? But it's fully incorporated. We're going to add our vanilla. Okay. Then we're going to add our Ray's apple pie rub. Yes, yes, okay? yes. We're going to let that get nice. We're going to let all those flavors get to know one another. We're going to scrape our bowl again. Because mm. we splashed some of that delicious vanilla. We got some of that rays on the side. Oh, we need to make mm. sure that it gets fully incorporated. Smash that share button, guys. Give us a like. Give us a love. Make sure you subscribe to the Kingsford and Rectex YouTube channel. Why? Because we've got a lot of amazing content coming up for this Thanks Grilling season. That's right. And if you're looking to do your first Thanksgiving, Thanks Grilling, I'm telling you, 
Rectech Grill, Rectech.com is a great resource for recipes. Also, following us on all social media. Right. We've got a lot. We're um, sharing at least two recipes a day. Charlie's almost done with uh, some amazing turkey infographs yes, that'll uh, completely hold your hand and guide you through yeah. um, your uh, turkey journey. That's right. Take you to take your turkey to the next level. That's this right. Thanksgiving. All right. So it's, all of those are fully incorporated. Now we're going to slowly, slowly add our flour. Okay. Jody, Bob, a top fan, Bob Howard, wants to know which beer pairs best with this pound cake? Uh, the, uh, for me, it's got to be one of the Weiss and Easy's from Shiner. Okay. It's got some sweetness in it. Um, I think the uh, the one I'm sipping on now, my um, Bitburger Fest beer. I don't know if my Fest beer would pair so well with this delicious <laughs> sweet dessert. All right, we're getting incorporated. We're gonna add some more. And again, slowly, add it slowly. That way you don't get any clumps. I love that. You are like a baking guru, my friend. Jody, uh, Chet, top fan Chet Hudgens asks, what is your Instagram? Mine is at BBQ Dad Jody, J-O-D-Y, BBQ D-A-D-J-O-D-Y. And again, we got a lot of stuff. Splashed up on the side. Go ahead and knock them sides down, ladies and gentlemen. Man, that looks great. That looks a lot better than uh, the one I'm cooking right now. I'm not going to lie to you, John. <laughs> I'm telling you. But that one's going to turn out great. Again, lots of butter. There's a pound of butter in there, ladies and gentlemen, so it's going to be nice and wet. Yeah, moist. It's going to be nice and moist. But make sure it's fully incorporated. Okay? Turn it off. Drop it down. Turn it on high. And get all that stuff mm -hmm. off of the. It's like he's done this before, ladies. Little and gentlemen. mixer spatula uh, 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 thingy. Jenny, the way you bake, maybe you should join me on a late night munchies Man, episode. We could bake together. John, it would be an honor, but you've never invited me or anything, so well, I thought I'm I wouldn't it welcome. On air right now, you have an open invitation. Anytime okay. you want to come, it's my proof. Friend. It's proof. Now, all, all right. of you folks, know, oh Lord, it's nice and slippery. <laughs> if you guys didn't know, uh, if you believe in the power of prayer, I ask that you pray right now for our fish. Uh, we had a water uh, seal break in our 200-gallon fish tank. And the whole front uh, retail area flooded. is flooded. flooded. And our fish buddies were flopping, flopping on the floor when we arrived at work this morning. So say a little prayer for them because uh, hopefully they make it. Yeah, um, sure. We lost Norm. We lost Norm. Yeah, poor Norm. Uh, unfortunately, uh, he's one of our favorite fish. He was yeah. one of the originals. But waste not, want not. We got the grills going. Yep, and uh, we also got the sushi chef coming That's right. in. That's right. And uh, we're going to be okay. Now, this looks so much better than what I cooked. Does it? I'm swear. It looks great. It That's looks how so it's much supposed better. to look. This looks great. You just add an eight and a half by a four and a half or a, a nine by five dish works best, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, Make that sure so that it is greased and floured, or this stuff will stick to it. All right, and talk about that real quick, Jody, so the people who don't know what you're talking about. Absolutely. So what you need to do is you need to get you some butter or um, some lard and take it in your hand and rub it all on the inside. That way you know it's touching those walls. And then throw some flour. Take you a, a small handful of flour and throw it on the inside and um, knock it around on the inside. That way you cover each and every bit of that butter, and that will prevent this from sticking yes. to the baking dish. Man, Jody. Now, we're about to pull ours out. And again, I know I've taken this a little bit longer than we normally would. My bad, Kingsford. My bad. Uh, but we're going to put it in 350 degrees for about an hour. We're going to check it after 45 minutes to see if she's good to go. But, oh, there we go. We've got a good one in there. Oh, it looks a little bit drier uh, than what I thought it was earlier. So we're going to go ahead and pull her out. She looks great. Ooh, yes. Look at that. Lord. And again, that, that is a good. that is a buttery pound cake, ladies and gentlemen. Got some beautiful color on top. Yeah. Uh, and again, it's not. You can smell it. You can smell that Kingsford classic blend right. pellet. Man, that classic blend pellet. It's a uh, amazing combination of woods to give you some good flavor. Again, I used probably a little bit too much butter on this one. I may have guessed a little bit. bit. Little I may have guessed a little bit instead of uh, instead but of weighing it, it cools, out. As it cools, as it cools, that's right. Butter. 
But again, this is going to be an amazing pound cake. Uh, I like to add a little bit of strawberry compote on mm. top with some vanilla ice cream, some yeah. whipped cream. Uh, you can also go in the direction of our friend Greg Power. He likes pineapple That's on right. his. That's right. Uh, John likes uh, a mocha or chocolate That's right. pound cake. Or just some more raised warm apple pie right Some more raised warm apple pie. Is that what the doctor just That's ordered? What That's doctor what the doctor is going to get. And again, season high and watch it fly. That's it, my friend. Put a little bit more of that sweet rub on top. Mmm. Looks absolutely amazing. Nice and moist. <whistles> All right, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. We really do appreciate you guys for hanging out with us for our Thanks Grilling segment. Get a turkey plan now. If I could uh, pass along any type of information to, to you, it is two things. Get your Thanksgiving plan now. My wife and I talked about ours last night. We are going to get it planned today before we go to bed. Um, also, buy now to receive by Christmas. I promise you, do not allow the shipping company to, to dictate whether or not you have a good holiday season. Season Buy now and receive by Christmas. Go ahead and get your grills, get your items. Buy them now, hide them in the garage. Do not let the shipping company ruin your holiday season, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, you can find all of these recipes at Rectech.com. Make sure you subscribe to Rectech and Kingsford on their YouTube channels. I am at BBQ Dad Jody on all social media. I really do appreciate you guys for tuning and we are live here at the RecTech Worldwide Headquarters in Evans, Georgia. Uh, from everyone here at uh, the RecTech Worldwide Headquarters, we will see you at the RecTech. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. It's thanks grilling season. Thanks, thanks grilling. 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 Smoky pellets. Thank you, Kingsford.